Now when it comes to the financial element within advanced business, um, this is really the core part of the system and it is a very flexible structure which allows you to set it up as, uh, as complex or as simple as you want it to be. Now it means that if I wanted to look at it from a simple perspective I can set up my chart of accounts and I can then assign them against the different areas so against my customers, my suppliers, my stock items, uh, my employees for the expenses and I can assign them against those relevant records and then it means that that will draw through and it will actually use those for when it does the GL postings. Now it means if I want to set up for accounts receivable for example we can use what we call classes or customer classes in this case and we can actually show a European customer actually will be assigned to this accounts receivable foreign account or in terms of sales it means that it'll go to this income sales account. Now the next level up is in regards to the sub accounts and the sub accounts means that I can then now the next level up is in regards to the sub accounts. Now the sub accounts are a fully customizable um, segment that we can actually set in the system and if I go to this area here you can see that I've set mine up as a um, segment with three digits and two digits and it means that I can actually say that this one is for um, customer services and for hardware maintenance. Now this means that I can have an extra level of detail in my reporting and I can assign this against my employee for expenses or for the sales. Or even under the accounts receivable I can assign it under a salesperson and we can see that the sales will get posted to that sub account. Now what this ultimately means is that when it comes down to your reporting it means you get a better level of detailed reporting. Now the other elements within the financial area is that you can actually have a full currency management system. So what it means in terms of that is if I look at my accounts receivable and customer summary, I can actually trade in different currencies. So you can see here that this bank is in US dollars and these are in AU dollars, but I can then just untick split by currency. So I can now see that we have um, local ending balances and local New Zealand dollar balances. Now this means that I can then send out my um, different statements in multi-currency or just on a single currency and I can also take payments in multi-currency as well based on the bank accounts. Now one of the other things that you can do as well within the system is that you can set up your recurring transactions not only for your journal side of things but I can also set that up for accounts payable and even accounts receivable if I choose to. So any bills that come in that constantly come in I can set up a recurring transaction to do that. Now factor in that we can also use a method called allocations which allows us to then say for this GL account I want to separate it off into either multiple sub accounts or even multiple branches so if I receive a cleaning bill it means it will go off to the different branches be assigned automatically. Now we can also if you want to and choose to for the accounts receivable side of things we have a deferred revenue which all links to the accounts receivable area if you choose to do that as well. Now the other thing in terms of the financial system is that you have full flexibility over what actually happens and when I mean that uh, when I say that I mean that um, we can then choose what gets released, whether they get released automatically and get posted directly to the general ledger or you have that individual flexibility to say I want to check them before they go through. Now you also have control as well over um, when periods are closed and when they're actually active so for example if you want to keep the accounts payable open and the GL open for that period at the end of the month and then you can actually close off the accounts receivable area so you've got that extra flexibility yet again. Now the other thing as well is that you have ledger control so you can have um, ledgers, an actual ledger for your general ledger but also you can have multiple budget ledgers and the budget ledgers mean that I can then set up different budgets and then when it comes to reporting I can show those budgets in the case of optimistic forecast versus actual. 
Now, all of this and all of this detail then means that in terms of financial reporting, we have a very powerful financial reporting um, report um, builder. And it means that if I do a profit and loss report, you can see that from here I can edit and I can choose to request certain things. So start accounts, start sub accounts. So I can actually run the reports based on sub accounts or even branches. And then it also means that if I run the report, I get an extra level of detail out of the box. And it means that if I wanted to look at my sales, I instantly get the sub account segmentation. And I can even drill directly into this sub account and see the extra level of detail based on that. So that's basically um, a little bit of a show of what is in the general ledger side of things.